Hello, my name is Rhys Morgan. I'm Robert West. Together we are Morgan and West Magicians. Time travellers. And all round spiffing chaps here to tell you very briefly about our brand new release, Thought of Card Across. Toker. Oh yes. It's a very great trick. In fact, all that happens is you have ten black cards, ten red cards. You count them into the spectator's hands. They know there's ten. They know there's ten. Very clear. It's very, very clear and very fair. And then they think of one of the black cards. They just think of it. Just think of it. They nearly think of it. And then immediately, or with some time delay, it's up to you really, you count those black cards again and there are now only nine. And in this pile over here, there are now 11 In the pile of red cards. And then you show them the nine black cards and you say, is your card there anymore? And they say, no, it no, isn't. It's not. It's they gone. name their card, they say it's the two of clubs for the sake of argument. For the sake of argument, it's the two of clubs. And the 11th card in the red pile bosh, 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 bosh. is... Obviously the two of clubs, for that's, the sake of argument. That's the way tricks that's work. That's the trick. It's super, super clean. There's it's not always the two of clubs. No. It can be any of the cards they pick. They can look at any of the cards. Yeah, it's... You don't palm anything. You don't switch anything. You don't... There are no strings or magnets or... There's no flash or, paper. Or flat, there's no lasers. There's no lasers. But there's it, reset. It takes some reset. Uh, the, the cards are gaff cards, obviously. That's the way these things work. Yeah. Yeah, but it's good. It's so good that we use it in our stage show, Parlour Tricks, every single night. We've even performed this for royalty. And by royalty, I mean genuinely sort of like top ten in line to the British throne. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, you can perform this in close-up. It's a card trick that you can do in close-up, but the reactions of the audience are strong enough. You can also do it on stage, and we've done it on some pretty big stages. Yeah, yeah. Here's, a, here's another startling reason to buy this. Take a bit. Mm, yes, it costs us 50 or 60 pounds to make up one of these sets yeah, of cards. Yeah, we used to make them ourselves from buying other decks and putting things together and making things and getting things printed. And it cost a fortune! <laughs> Whereas these are a lot cheaper than that. Yeah. What more could you want? Chocolate bar. We're not giving you a chocolate bar. Oh, that'd be good though, wouldn't it? No, I good. wish we'd included that. I wish we'd included it. Well, but we haven't. Tough. And it gets on the cards. Yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Rob. I, I'm, I'm here with Jack and Diane, and we're here in a definitely real place to show them this trick. Cool. So, Dan, this is very simple. I'm going to borrow your hand like so, and I'm going to give you ten cards. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in fact, you can just place your thumb on top like that just to keep hold of those ten, in case an errant gust of wind blows through that wall and kills everyone in the room. And Jack, we'll do the same thing with you. Perfect. I'm going to give you ten cards as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing with you. I'm just going to place your thumb just on top for me, in case that same joke happens again. No, that's not the trick, that's just counting, that's the magic of counting. In fact, if, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have you think of one of these cards. Okay? So I just want you to just think of any one of those cards, and when you have one, lock it in your brain. Keep it locked in your brain, say the name of the card in your head a few times to keep it further locked in your brain. I'll give the cards back. And watch very closely. Hold that card in your brain. Now it does feel like nothing happens, doesn't it? It really, it really feels like nothing at all happens. Go Not on. the slightest thing. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, logic would dictate, wouldn't it, that... Well... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Now, look, you're thinking of a card, yeah? Mm -hmm. you just got it locked in your mind. Yeah. You've not even told me on that card yet. No. Right. What was the card you were thinking of? Jack. Of? Was it knobbly ones? Or yes. pointed? Knobbly ones? Or clubs? Yes. As is traditionally called? Jack. Can you see the Jack of Clubs among those nine cards? No. no. It has, to use the vernacular, vanished. However, lift your thumb from the Red, 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 ten red cards. Then, if this eleventh card is not only a black card, if this eleventh card is the black card that Jack merely thought of, the Jack of Clubs, then I would consider that a miracle. Then. 
we just witnessed a miracle. Oh my God, that was in your set of cards. And that's a miracle, thank you much. Uh, thank you, thanks Arthur. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. You'll be okay. Oh my life. That's good.